folks. Thanks for joining me today. I have been painting a series of soul symbols and this is the one for March. So March, uh, their birthstone is aquamarine. So I wanted to do um, an aquamarine kind of color in the background. So what I'm doing here is I'm going to be blending. So I start off with a light blue color on the outside, but that's going to be my darkest color. Then I will start moving my way up to the center with the same color, and then I will put in a little bit of a lighter shade of the blue mixed with white, and I just move my way out to the edges of the circle. And as I go, I just dab it along uh, with my finger sponge there. I purchased these finger sponges off of Amazon. If you'd like to have your own set, I did leave a link in the description below. So just click on that and it'll take you right over to where they are. Something I could have done before starting to apply my paint was to give it a base coat of white. Um, you can notice that as I'm dabbing along, some of the paint is lifting up and you can see the dark black color behind it or that's underneath it. So if I wanted to prevent that from happening, what I should have done was painted the circle white first with just one coat of paint, let it dry, and then start doing my blending. Um, but that's hindsight and uh, I just went ahead and ended up applying an awful lot of blended paint to the point where I ended up with something like this. And uh, it looks great, I think. So learn from my mistake and make sure that if you're using a light color for your background to definitely give your circle that you have drawn on a quick um, coat of white or a lighter color so that you don't have to do as much blending as what I did with all of my painting because of the darker color was shining through. So with all the blending that I did, I lost the outer edge that I wanted as the actual pure color. So I'm just using my eyeliner brush that I got off Amazon. The link is in the description below. Um, and I'm just uh, reapplying that color. I'm a little bit sloppy on it, but that's okay because I'm going to fix it up after. Now the soul symbol for March is yin yang. So I uh, wanted to get a perfect kind of circle. So what I have done is I have found the center and drew a couple of circles and then measured out where I have to put those circles. So now that I've got two circles within the smaller circle inside, I'm just going to sketch on how it goes around and then erase uh, the outer, I guess, lines that I'm not going to need. And then I just make the little um, dots that go in the middle of each of the bigger sides of the yin yang. So I do that all with my compass. I use a ruler, measure things out. Um, I just, I, I wanted it to be perfect because, and really balanced because that's what yin yang is all about. Um, actually, so the, um, the meaning for yin yang for March for the soul symbol is you seek balance in everything and always consider the good and bad sides of everyone. So makes sense that the yin yang has to be balanced from one side to the other. So that's what I did was I just measured it out to be perfect because that's what I wanted was it to be perfectly balanced. So uh, here I am, I'm painting on a uh, darker color of the blue. Um, I can't remember the name of it because I did film this a couple of weeks ago. Uh, however, all of the paint colors and brands are listed in the description as below. But these are just the paints that I had available to me. If you don't have them available to you, that's okay. Do whatever you have available um, within your own stash or if you wanted to try a different color altogether and not use blue. It's totally up to you. This is all about you. I'm just here to give you maybe some tips and tricks and maybe some things that you hadn't thought of before uh, to make your own. I'm not uh, telling you this is the way you have to do it. I'm just giving you inspiration. So here I am uh, cleaning up some of the paint that I kind of went over in the circle 
and uh, I was just cleaning it up and then I lost the footage of putting on the other side and basically all that is is glitter paint so it's done the same way as the dark blue was but I use glitter paint instead. So now I'm just cleaning up the edges. I'm putting on a metallic blue color and following along the circle that I have drawn on there, but it's very, very light. You can hardly see it, but trust me, it's there. I need the circle so I can follow along. Anyway, so I continue uh, just following along the lines. I'm putting in this metallic blue color. It's just to uh, pull your eye from the glitter that's in the center and to bring your eye out to the edges as well. And that's why I wanted to use the metallic blue. And it frames it just nicely. So that's why I liked having that little extra piece of glitter, I guess, or bling bling. Uh, just to make it shine. It's hard to tell right now, but trust me, once it's resined, you can really, really see it. If you like this video, I urge you to hit that thumbs up button. Let me know that you liked it. Um, if you really liked it, definitely subscribe. I post videos every Friday, uh, usually of a different technique or still always on a rock. Uh, but it's always fun to uh, watch to see what kind of creations I come up with. And uh, if you don't want to miss it, make sure you hit that bell and that way you will get notifications every time I post a new video. I just finished doing the uh, light reflecting bloops uh, just by putting a little bit of white paint on there and then dragging my paintbrush through it so it comes to a point. And uh, it's just a great effect to give it that appearance that it is actually a, a gem and that it's shining. And now I'm just doing the outside of that uh, metallic ring. I um, wanted a thicker band of the original uh, blue color. So I am just going around and putting it on. Another thing, I again, I should have maybe used a lighter color for my background um, instead of painting it with black because uh, this paint uh, was really really hard to get good coverage without having the black come through so I had to do two or three coats of this and uh, it it was very frustrating because I had to wait for it to dry and then go back and do another coat and wait for it to dry so definitely if you're going to be using lighter colors make sure that your background is a light color to begin with I usually paint all my my rocks black because a lot of the times I am doing something that requires the black behind it. I used silver instead of gold to outline the uh, frame of the yin yang. I liked it better because the silver really brings out the glitter that's in the other side of the yin yang. And so I really wanted to uh, incorporate that all and silver goes better with blue than gold does anyway so that's why I did it that way. I really liked how it turned out and uh, you'll be able to see the finished product at the end. Now I also paint uh, one off camera and one on camera so I do have two of these and I think what I'm going to do is show at the end both of them so you'll see the finished product of this plus you'll see the other design that I came up with. Now I'm just marking where I want my dots to go on the outside. That's how I finish uh, most of my um, stones is I put a dot and then I do little dots around it. It's just a nice way to finish off the frame. So I thought I would experiment here. So what I did was I took some blue paint and I put in a little bit of white paint, but I didn't mix it all together. So that way it ends up being like a marble effect. So I have different um, swirls of blues and whites all mixed in together. And the effect actually turned out really cool and I was very impressed with it. So um, if you ever wanna give something like that a try, just don't mix up all your paints all the way. See what kind of designs you get out of them when you dot them. The color that I'm using for the first row of dots is the same pure color that I used in the beginning of when I started to paint my center of the circle. 
So I'm using that just to tie everything back in together and I'm putting in the little dots with my nail stylist, just walking them around one side and then dotting the center dot and then walking back up on the other side. And I do that to all of the marble dots that I've just put on there. And then the next row that I do after that will be the silver and that's just to tie in the frame and you'll see that very shortly but it does it ties in the frame into uh, the dots and just adds that uh, completeness of the whole design so I was very happy with how it turned out here's a good shot here you can really see the marble kind of effect that came about because I didn't mix those paints up all the way and um they're just it's so pretty just that how each dot is completely different from the other but meanwhile the paint that's been mixed up or slightly mixed up is the same so you get a, a different effect on every single dot it's just amazing so I urge you please give it a try it is so fun to see what you get out of it I've only ever done this with blues so if you try this technique and you use a different color or even if you use the blues please leave me a comment below. I'd love to hear about your experience and what kind of designs that you got out of it. Um, even if you tried metallic paints, things like that. Definitely, I want to hear about it. So leave me a comment below. Or you can find me on Facebook and you can leave me a comment there. Um, I'm also on Etsy. I have these rocks on sale uh, on my Etsy shop. There's a link to all of these places in the description below. So please feel free to click that Facebook link. It takes, me, takes you right to my Facebook page. Um, I've got lots of things on there that I haven't recorded. And they're all different uh, designs and projects that I have painted in the past. Definitely worth uh, a check out to go and see what I've done. Um, as well as my Etsy shop. And keep watching because I will be doing more of these monthly uh, series for the soul symbol. So again, this one is March and it's the yin yang. And I will be working on the next one for April. So definitely keep an eye on that. And I do post every Friday. So definitely subscribe and ring that bell so that you'll always get those notifications. And I gotta finish this off with some bling bling. I love bling bling, the shine, the glimmer. So I just add a little bit of tacky glue with my nail stylist and I put the gem on. Then it um, adheres, I let it dry before I put it through the resin. And remember folks, life is what you make it, so get creative.